Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to OLC TV. Uh, my name is Aishki, I've been thoroughly marinated in Earl Grey tea, so I'm up for another historical battle. Uh, this one we're going to be doing is the conquest in Jandong as Sun Tzu. So, it's 196 CE. Sun Tzu's campaigns to conquer the land south of the Yangtze River have been ongoing for several years. After success against Liu Yao and the capture of Wu Commandery, Sun Tzu turns his attention to Wang Lang and his position in Kuai Ji Commandery. After rallying the support of his uncle Sun Jing, the two generals advance towards the Qiantang Estuary, where Wang Lang has established his defensive position. Knowing that a frontal assault would be difficult, Sun Tzu now plots to use Sun Jing's detachment to help isolate and destroy Wang Lang's forces. As the Qiantang yawns into the ocean, Sun Tzu sees the sun rising on the horizon and knows his star rises too. Sun Tzu Dajin Jinjun Jiangdong, Ru Ru Wu Ren Zhi Ji. Ru Jin, Yu Yu Qiang Di Kang Heng. Zi Ren, Huan Zuo Wang Lang. Qian Tang Jiang Dong Liu Ru Hai. Wang Lang Yi Yu Tsi Chu, Wu Xia Fang Yu. Sun Tzu Dajin Jin Yi Si Meng Hu Ru Shan, Ding Dang Xiong Ba Yi Fang. 岂容此等宵小之辈在此跳梁？王郎自认为有能力拖延我军征程，那就走着瞧吧。贼将已在江岸纠集大军，想要以此来与我一战，我等定要避其锋芒，不可与之纠缠。叔父大人不久将率援兵赶至。我等可借援兵以为侧翼，进而荡平敌城，扫清贼军。我军一定不能腹背受敌，必须要撑到孙敬大人率兵赶来为止。还望众将士坚守阵地，打赢此阵，便有无限功名。Right now, I, I'm not keen on、uh, the way some sort of set up here. I don't particularly like fighting with him. He has a, although he's very, very powerful, he has a tendency to lose control in battle just when you need him most,、um, which can be extremely frustrating. However,、um, historically, this battle was、uh, came about because Sun Tzu's conquest of Jandong had hit a little bit of a roadblock. He had、um, basically encountered Wang Lang at Gu Ling、um, and tried to break through there, cross the river to break through, but had failed. Failed a couple of times as well. And、uh, his uncle, Sun Jing, who will appear later over there, or at least his forces will, had suggested that、um, he send a detachment under Sun Jing. To outflank him,、uh, to outflank Wang Lang. So, of course, Wang Lang didn't see that coming and、uh, was very surprised the next day when he found his forces outflanked. But it did mean that Sun Tzu fought this side of the battle outnumbered,、uh, which is basically what's happening here. Now, let's see if he goes absolutely nuts yet. I want a jewel. That's a shame. Would have quite enjoyed that. Right, you're killing them. You're killing them. Where are my horses here?、Mm, they're dying. These guys, you can pull out now. You've done a fair chunk of damage there.、Uh, all right, if they're not going to play, you can go in here. Pop that, that. Keep focusing them. You keep shooting them. I want you back in there, please. Well, at least these cavalry are sacrificing themselves for a good cause. They're not really doing anything else for the greater part of the battle.、Mm, no, thank you. But、uh, you know, could be worse. Send you to support them. Can you get him? 
Let's do a spinner rooney. See if we can chop them up a little bit. You can pile into them. Uh, fall back a little bit further, please, cavalry. I know you're not the fastest, but uh, you should at least be able to outrun those chaps. How big is that? Oh, I don't really need it. Uh, I might use it a little bit later if they don't break fast enough. But I'd rather use it for punching through over there. Um, no, up here actually. Hey. Swing around there. Are they dead yet? Oh, the Jade Dragon's held out. That's that's a good effort, actually. I was not expecting that. My archers have been brutalized. However, they're still alive, so credit where it's due. If we can get this charge off in the back here, we should be good. Um, yellow Dragons are a bit tasty. Nice, 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 nice. Cavalry is free again. Do they look... Mm, no, I don't think they're going to come back. You, so you guys can pile in right here. Oh, they are so slow. Oh, let's get John Bao out of the way. Right, you ready? Three... Two, one. Oh, see, he's done it. He's lost control. Fortunately, we don't need him to do anything particularly challenging at this moment in time. Just kill that fellow. So, he can lose control if he wants to doing that. It's not going to hurt too badly. Now, they still have some spearmen up there. This cavalry unit can swing off around here. You kill him. Oh yeah, chase them down. Don't let them get away. Yep, yeah, hit them. Swing up here. I don't exactly know what their cavalry is trying to do there, but, you know, as long as they have fun. Alright. Possible. Chase them off the field. I don't want them coming back. These guys just don't know when to give up. No idea when to give up. No. It's credit to them that they do keep coming back, I guess. Right. Now, we're going to play with these chaps now that that's all clear over there. So... Let's form up a little bit here. And I want flaming shot. And you, yes, flaming shot, please. Well, we got Xilian cavalry and Jade dragons. Wow. Yeah, that's some pretty tasty cavalry. Uh, yeah. All right, you've done your bit. Nicely done, lads. Nicely done. Excellent effort. Let's form up here. Right, so what I'm thinking is with the flaming shot, I can burn a few of these towers down. Yes, I'm going to lose some men in the process of doing that. Um, but I think it's going to be worth it. If, it's a big if. But if I can knock these two out, then knock these two out, I might be able to send a flanking force in. Um, just so we can crush these spears pretty quickly. And if I hold a force here, they should keep the bulk of their troops over there until I do a proper assault. And then if they start shifting and it starts to look weak, then Sunsun and his boys can swing in from that side. Well, that's the idea anyway. Um, Let's see if it all falls apart when it comes to practice. So, I'd like you to start running now. Speed this up whilst we're waiting for that to happen. Uh, 
probably put them in loose formation as well because they are going to get shot at. I don't think they outrange that building. Oh, I'm pretty certain they don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're going to lose a few. Wow. That tower really outranges us. Yeah, we'll definitely lose a few. But, uh... Fire damage up. Right, one... Two... Knock that one out, please. Yeah, kill a few of them on the way forward if you really want to. Got nothing against that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, that one's out. And then I want that one out of commission too. Nicely done, boys. Nicely done. Right. And then you can just sort of sit there and pepper whoever you want to pepper. These chaps can move up now. Wow. Wasn't expecting them all to fall back, actually. That's a little bit surprising. They are moving reinforcements in. Sort of to be expected. Does mean that as long as I don't mind losing a few casualties, I wonder. Actually, I wonder. Yeah, fall back. Yeah. Come on then. I can turn your flaming arrow. No, I said n no more flaming shot. Just shoot them. Just kill them. Uh, you guys are flaming shot as well. Pepper them a little bit. me fine you don't want to charge me we'll just move up there you guys can just move up there one two three <sighs> boy they're not gonna attack does seem like the town's caught fire though Taking out another one of their towers. Nice. Don't think it's going to spread much further though. That's a bit of a shame. All right, they're not going to play ball. Let's hit them. Get stuck in. Yeah. Crash through there. Yeah, this is the assault that I wanted. They're going to move more men round now. What have they got left over there as your dragons? Yeah, they're going to be tough to shift, but not insurmountable. Um, honestly, don't know how good the archers are going to do against them, but they don't have shields, so... We'll see what happens. Now, go forward. Let's do some of these. Uh, Flames of the Phoenix as well, quite nice. And let's have a roar. Right, what do we think? Strange. Okay, cavalry over there. Do 
does look like we're just butchering them here, which is quite nice. Let's have another roar. Uh, yeah, melee evasion down. Wang Lung is there. That's going to disrupt things slightly. But it's time for the cavalry. Yeah. Commander's decided to go walkies. So be it. Right. I want you boys through here. You boys through here. You roar, please. And then hit him in the back. Ah, not wonderful. Not wonderful. Yeah, you can come back. Hit him again. Hit him again. And hit him again. Right, cover is through. Uh, let's have one of you come over here. Steal that one for me. You chaps, run. It's you guys are going to come through here. Right, get in there. him I guess you guys can come here steal that and then oh no 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 not that way and that's been won quite nicely I know this is the front, but it's time to do one of your massive roars and see if we can get them to run straight up, disappear off the field. Yeah, there they go. There they go. Nice victory. Brilliant. Bit of a butcher's toll over here, though. <sighs> feel bad for this detachment. Sun Jing will not be happy that I used his men basically as a battering ram over here. And Sun Tzu kept his men alive pretty well. Oh well, not my problem. Pyrrhic victory. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the death toll. So Sun Tzu's still got 1,200 left, where Mal took a battering, unsurprisingly. Um, Sun Tzu barely killed anyone. But these guys, look at that, almost 500 there. Brilliant. Archers did a good job. Be interested to see how the other guys do. Have they? No, can't see that. That's a shame. Anyway, that's it for this battle. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we've got the Mandate of Heaven, I think, launches tomorrow, so I'm going to be playing some of that. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Um, if you didn't, please feel free to leave a dislike. And always comments, feedback, anything like that, absolutely welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. Goodbye. <laughs>